God, this has got to be my favorite piece of music in the game. It's very nice to be back. Welcome back. Welcome back to some Dragon Quest IX, where we find ourselves once again in the observatory. Uh, we returned here last time with the help of Stella, the Starlight Express, and Sterling, who apparently made the damn thing. Uh, it is a sad duty indeed, but you must inform Apis Major of Aquila's betrayal. Yes. So, of course, that is what has happened. Aquila, not Aquila, Aquila, whatever, stole the figs and delivered them to the Gittish Empire. And that is how things stand, so I need to find my way back to the head honcho around these parts. It's been a while since we were here, so I don't really remember the layout. So you freed our captive Celestrian brethren? You have the deepest thanks of myself and all here in the observatory. But we're not going to give you any reward or anything, because that would be that would be too kind. Um, oh, and by the way, apparently, I've been told on Twitter uh, this morning that it is a very special day today. Uh, I, I don't know if this is correct. I didn't fact check this, but I'm going to take the word for it. It is apparently the 10th anniversary of this game's release in Japan today. So when you're watching this video, or at least when it's uploaded, uh, that will be the case, which is pretty cool. Can't believe it's 10 years old. Holy crap. When mighty Yggdrasil bears fruit, then shall uh, the Celestrian carriage arrive and lead the Cel Our realm has suffered many heart. Yeah, well, that's all bullshit, isn't it? No, your legends are a load of crap. They are false. They are inaccurate. I hear talk of the Gittish Empire, which has, uh, had been thought to destroy, appearing once more in the mortal realm. And they say that there are Celestrians who are yet held captive there. Can it be possible? Yeah. Yeah, apparently there's still some in the actual palace, which we haven't been to yet, but I'm sure that's where we're going to be heading next. Where the hell do I... <laughs> where the hell do I go? I think in that door. Think I go in that door? Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Hello. Aquila is truly great to have gathered seven figs single-handed as a mighty feat in it. What?! Bullshit. Why do you guys believe that? We Celestrians are, after all, charged with guarding the mortal realm over which the Empire wishes to gain control. Uh, oh, and yeah, we got our ultimate key last time too, so hopefully once we get free reign again, we can open up a few of those doors. Uh, there was one in our ship, which apparently leads to a pretty nice sword that I'm interested in... Um, Testing out. Apis Major awaits your report. Go to him. Alright, you big old beardy bastard. Yes, I have returned. We uh, we give great thanks to our heroic rescue of so many... Uh, your heroic rescue of so many of your captive brethren. Now you must tell me of all the goings-on in the land of the Protectorate. Yeah, it's all gone to shit, mate. It's all gone to shit. So the Gittish Empire ravages the lands of the Protectorate once more? You are too young to remember, but the Gittish Empire was an evil dominion that fell into ruin centuries ago. Its denizens sought supremacy over the Protectorate, but were destroyed by their unquenchable thirst for power. Mage, you spoke before of Aquila's uh, betrayal and the theft of the figs. Oh, what the hell's that? But behold, the figs are here, returned to the sacred bastion of the Observatory. Oh, so that's what that person was on about. He returned them here? Did he claim that... He must have claimed that he found them all himself. When really we know he's working for the Empire. Hmm. Yes, he's trying to act like he did it all and he's a goodie, but we know different. Are people going to believe us? The figs are restored to their rightful home. You have our deepest gratitude. But it was Mage to whom I entrusted their retrieval. Why is it you who returns them to us? Yes, good question, Mr. Apis. What are you going to say to that, Quilla? Mage and I were reunited in the Protectorate and resolved to work together to seek out the figs. Bullshit! <laughs> you smell that, guys? <laughs> Smells like horse shit. Mm-hmm. 
We roamed the land separately, eventually locating all seven of them. Absolute hogwash. Alas, we were separated during our return to the observatory. Surely he will return here long. Hmm, what can uh, have become of him, I wonder? Yeah, we got sold out. We got betrayed. Aquila, truly you have done well. Now perhaps peace can finally return to the Protectorate. I don't think so. Thank you, my lord. And now, if I may, I will take my leave. You son of a bitch. Ah, I think Apis has, has got a pretty strong head on his shoulders. He, he's not easily fooled. I fear I fear not, my lord. I have business that needs to be... What, what business could you possibly have? What, what was your excuse? You didn't even tell him what you were going to go off and do. Very suspicious. Aquila returned the fix to, uh, unto us. This surely is not the act of a traitor. No, it is. No, don't, don't believe his lies. He's a bastard. But mage, you are pure of heart and have nothing to gain from bearing false uh, witness. What can this mean? I can make little sense of it. Yeah, I don't really understand it either, but it still doesn't change the fact that that is how things are right now. Mage, Celestrian, and Guardian. We of the Observatory have a teaching. Figbloom hails the opening of the Heavenly Gates and sets the Celestrians on the path to salvation. And lo, it shall be in the Celestial uh, Carriage that the uh, we, the Chosen Custodians, journey to the Realm of the Almighty. Of uh, all of the figs are returned to the observatory. It is time. Let us seek out the realm of the. Oh, this is going to go so badly. This is probably exactly what the Empire wants. We must have faith. If the Almighty Himself is to be found there, surely we are saved. No, it's probably a super bad thing to do. I don't want to. The observatory was struck by an ill omened light, and the Protectorate suffers the resurrection of an evil empire. We cannot know the fate has befallen the realm of the Almighty. I may have need of your aid. Well, I guess, but I still think this is a really bad idea. I shall await you at the Starflight Express, make good of your preparations, and join me there forthwith. This is not going to end well. This is probably exactly why Aquila gave the figs, because he wanted them to open up the heavenly gates, and then the Empire's going to go strolling in. They probably don't give a crap about the Protectorate. They probably want the Almighty Realm for themselves. Mm. So, is there anything I have to do here? I suppose I can try and smash a few barrels before I go. Chat to this woman, or man. I have heard of the Dark Dragon Barbarus. He joined forces with the Gittish Empire centuries ago and laid waste to countless towns and villages with his wicked flames. But he was defeated by Greynar, hero of the heavens, and is long has long since deceased. Or so it was thought. Dun dun dun. Oh look! Shit, there's a door! Ultimate key door, finally! Oh, let's open this bad boy up. Two chests, what's gonna be inside? A goddess ring? Ooh. And a lump of orichalcum. Oh my god, that's so good. That Well, at least I remember it being pretty good in other Dragon Quests. I'm sure it is amazing crafting material in this one too. But let's see if that goddess ring wants to be equipped on anyone. Um, let's see. What does it do? Ooh, magical mending increases a hell of a lot. And it brings back MP with every step. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yes! Equip that, Mariella. You're healing. Oh, that is perfect. That is perfect. We also got this tough guy tattoo last time, which increases attack. So I might give that to Olivia. Let's see. Olivia, do you want to equip that instead of the life ring? I mean, that does heal you with every step. But that's less important now that we have a means of recovering MP pretty nicely. So, yeah, in fact, let's give her the, um, the tough guy tattoo. I mean, we'll lose a bit of defense. It's not the end of the world, though. 
Yeah, I'm going to give her the tough guy tattoo. Okay. So, is that it? Let's go and chat to these people before we leave. Did something occur between you and Aquila? Uh, Aquila? <laughs> Aqu I'm going to call him different names every single time now. He came here to return the figs to Apis Major a little while ago. He spoke strangely. He said that he was no longer worthy of calling himself your teacher. Oh, maybe he has regrets. Maybe he is actually guilty. I wonder if we're going to find him again. Well, we, we are going to find him again. I wonder where... I bet he went off back to his... Uh, masters of the Gittish Empire. Still, yeah, we still need to rescue the Celestrians. But apparently we're going to head to the Almighty Realm first, which... I kind of want to go back down to the Protectorate and open up the other ultimate key doors, but maybe we won't get a chance just yet. Um, you have succeeded, mate. The figs are returned unto us. It seems I must revise my opinion of you. You have done uh, gone to great lengths for the good of all. Ah, nice one. At least you appreciate all the shit I've gone through. This music is so nice. I forget how I get back up to... How do I get back to the Starflight Express? Um, that's a very good question. I kind of just want to have a look around here again, though. So the aggressor was indeed from the realm beneath the clouds. The hideous Gittish Empire. How dare they put the powers of our Celestrian brethren to wicked use. Yeah, right. Bunch of uh, cockwombles they are. You journey to the realm of the Almighty to offer up Yggdrasil's sacred fruits, do you not? Well, that I could have had just one taste, but they belong to the Almighty. Yeah, don't be eating them. Bad stuff happens. Trust me. Oh, there's... I just saw a chest. Hang on a bleeding minute. Why did I not open this chest? Was it locked? Oh, it was just a Chimera ring. So I must have just completely missed this chest. Last time I was here. Oh well. At least we got it now. Doo doo. Right, let's uh, let's head back upstairs. Well, back outside. Oh crap! I can't get. I can't get back up there. But we'll talk to this guy. Thought the Protectorate safer than the Observatory, which seems so close to destruction. But now the Empire is reborn. Perhaps our realm is safer after all. Well, at the moment. That's probably not going to be the case for too much longer. So... I need to go out this door. Yeah, I'm just going to go back the way we came. Was there any blue chests on the observatory? Or was it just red chests? Uh, I just think it was just red chests, possibly. Uh, so... Is this how we get back to the Starflight Express? This is where we ended up. Maybe we need to head back to the top. Yeah, probably. Let's do that. Oh, hang on. Oh, there it is, there it is. Apis Major's safety is in your hands, Mage. You must not allow yourself to relax for even one moment. I've not been able to relax this whole fucking game. Makes no difference. You are here, Mage. Good. Now let us journey to the realm of the Almighty aboard the Celestial Carriage. Ah, but before we do so, there is something I wish to confer uh, you to confirm for me. Aquila attacked you and stole from you the figs. You are certain of this? Yes. I know not why he would do such a thing. Yet when he gained possession of the sacred fruits, he delivered them faithfully to me. 
Such is not the action of an Imperial pawn, or is it? Whatever his motive, I know that his intentions are good. I trust him as I trust you. Oh no, don't be doing that. The figs are all recovered. If it is as the teachings say, we will at last be able to travel to the re This isn't going to go how you think. To paraphrase Luke Skywalker, uh, should we be able to gain an audience with the Almighty, I must beg for the deliverance of our world from the evil that besets it. The prospect makes me a little uneasy, mage. Board the celestial carriage, I will join you shortly. Okay. It's my homies. Hey, Stella. Off to the realm of the Almighty, eh? Shall I pack a swimsuit? I've heard it's paradise. Tropical paradise, I hope. Sure, whatever. Whatever floats you bought. What's up, mage? Uh, you... Have you been hiding? Sorry, I can't... Re I really cannot read his dialogue. Have you been... An ad... A chat with Apus Major about everything? Has been going on or something? Yes, I have. You will be with us shortly, he said. What's that? The realm of the Almighty? To deliver the figs? Sure thing, mage. I'll get on it. Yeah, you press those buttons. Better look busy, the boss is here. Hmm, so this is the Starflight Express. Please forgive my intrusion. It is bathed in the same golden glow that en envelops the fruits of the Great World Tree. This is truly a creation of the Almighty. Who is this old footery duddery? <laughs> ah, you are the sainted stewardess of the Starflight Express, are you not? I'm surprised he's never seen her. I'm Apis Major, Keeper of the Observatory. It is an honor, and this is... This is Big Chin Charlie. That's what we got now, Sterling. Sterling's his name. Uh, Sir Captain and Chief Engineer of the Starflight Express and one of Major's uh, closest comrades. Well, that's... I mean, we've, we've only met. We've only known each other for like two minutes, but okay, whatever. He does seem like a pretty sound bloke. Well, Captain Sterling, I have a favor to ask of you. Major's unstinting efforts have brought the fix back to the observatory. Now the prophecy must be fulfilled. You must deliver us to the realm of the Almighty aboard the celestial carriage. Well, sir, the Almighty did once tell me something. When the figs have finally bloomed, you bring them celestrians up here to the realm of the Almighty, or words to that effect. And I ain't no genius, but I reckon this must be what that spiel was all about. So you just leave it to me, sir. Sit back and make yourself at home. Next stop, the realm of the Almighty! Oh boy. My goodness, the Starflight Express! It's... Off we go! Observatory is a mere speck below us already. Truly, this is the conveyance of the gods. Captain Sterling, does your command of the Express span many years? Well, I've been at the Elm since the very day the Almighty put her into action, sir. It's been a while now. Blimey, so old Fat Guts is even more ancient than I thought. Shut it, you ain't. I ain't ancient, and I ain't no Fat Guts up neither. I'm the captain, got it? Captain. Do we just love how his voice changes every single word, nearly? Oh, wow. Warp speed. Oh, wow. Oh, this is, this totally reminds me of where the Watchers live in uh, Dragon Quest XI. Slight spoilers for that game, I'm not, I, whatever. Ooh. Do look me some floating islands in the sky. Ladies and gentlemen, now arriving at the realm of the almighty. All change. <laughs> I hope I've still got my ticket, in case you check it. At long last, my most f uh, fervent prayers are finally to be answered. Are they, though? 
You're very optimistic, considering all the shit that's gone wrong so far. What do you think, Stella? Well, I suppose we should take along too, eh, mate? Don't want to be left behind it like a pair of melons, do we? No, nope. no. Nope. We do not. Such holiness, such beauty. Truly, this could only be the realm of the Almighty. Mage, etch these sacred sites into your memory. We know not when we may tread this hallowed ground again. Now we must offer up the figs unto the Almighty. Were he, uh, where might he be found, I wonder? Probably at, like, the tallest point, I would say. Or is this, uh, I wonder if this is going to be kind of like a dungeon. I don't know, the music's... The music isn't, like, as cheery as I would expect. Um, so the temple's straight up in front of us. If he's anywhere, the Almighty will be up there. Well, before I do that, I want to have a look around. Ah, we have a save statue. Celestial Sentinel. Oh, no, it's not a save statue, it's just a statue. Okay. Alright, let's head up, shall we? The gates are shut tight. Mage reads the words inscribed on them. Only the pure shall pass. And guess who's the purest of them all? Me! Pass, pure-hearted one. Go to your god. We are literally about to meet our maker. That is kind of crazy. But first, we must go to the left and explore this building. Which looks like a glorified shed. Or a barn. And we have... A white knight shield. Ooh, is that going to be better than the one I've got on mage? Could be. Oh, it is. Pretty nice block chance. Sacred shield employed to protect against unholy assaults. Well, I will... It looks pretty basic, but I will take it. Hope the Almighty doesn't mind. Now, what's over this way? Hmm, yeah, this music's not giving me good vibes. I'm, I'm very, very cautious. And another statue. Okay, well, that was pointless then. Wonderful, right, so... Let's head on up, shall we? I have no idea what's going to happen, but I can tell you it ain't going to be good. Oh, they got rainbow roads! <laughs> Sweet. How do I... Ah. I mean, it's very pretty. And a mighty omelette. Mage, do you want to equip that? I kind of do like the Elfin Charm, though. It's probably because it does protect against uh, status ailments, but... The Mighty Armlet increases attack by quite a lot. Ooh. I think that might actually replace what we've just given to uh, Olivia. Yes. Yes, we will. There we go. Alright, is there anything else? There's quite a... Quite a number of islands to check out. Another uh, shed. And a bunch of graves. In the beginning, I did separate sea and sky. I did place the stars in the heavens. I did set the land to float upon the seas. I did make the birds, the fish, the flowers, the trees, and all the creatures. And I did set them to inhabit the realm I had created. And lastly, when all was said and done, I did make mortal kind in my own image. Heavy, heavy Christian uh, parallels here. Of course, the whole angel thing as well. Uh, Mage, I'm probably just saying the most obvious shit. Mage reads the inscription, All my creatures were pure of heart, all but the mortals, among whom dwelt both the righteous and the sinful. And yeah. And yeah? What? 
And yet, were the sinful ever plentiful in number, and the righteous ever few. Or maybe I said that wrong, I don't know. And the sinful did rule forcefully over the righteous, and the forcefully... And forcefully over my creatures, and did bring suffering upon them. Y yay or yay? A god must watch over all of his children. He must stand sentinel over the righteous and pure of heart. He must deliver them from evil. He must deliver them from sin and the doers of sin. And verily, the sinful must be eradicated. Well, why did you make the mortals then? If, if you knew they were going to be so bad. Eh? Alright. Let's go around the other side. Is he going to be a, a kind god or a cruel god? Very nice waterfall. That we can actually drench ourselves in. And another statue. Not sure what the point of those is, specifically. Oh, we can go down the waterfall! Nice! I mean the fall water. Right, enough dilly-dallying. How do we get to uh, the main palace temple thing? Just like this. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Can I go around the side? No. So herein dwells the Almighty. Finally, my prayers of countless millennia will be answered. Or are answered. Finally, we shall meet. This is going to be so disappointed for you, isn't it? Well, what is the meaning of this? Well, that's a... That's a couple of cracks right there. That's going to take a... It's going to take a little bit of fixing up. But the location's good, you know what I mean? What's going on here? The tempo's smashed to bits. What has befallen this place? What has become of the Almighty? I told you, told you it wouldn't be... This rupture? It cannot be. Surely the light which ravaged our own realm cannot have penetrated so far. Oh, Almighty One, heed my call. Where art thou? Hast thou forsaken us? Nah, he's just knit to the shops. He'll be back in ten. He'll be back in ten. Almighty One! What can have become of him? Why does he not heed my call? How do you know it's a him? Hmm? Could be a woman. Oh, I've got a nasty feeling about this. We should never have come to this little flapping place. I know, right? I told you. I did say. Why does he not heed my call? The rupture before. His hallowed throne. Surely the light which ravages our own. Well, apparently, yes, it did. What the bleeding necks happened here? What kind of tire rag could do a thing like this, eh? Grr. Anyhow, we'd best stand inside and see if the Almighty's in there. Head inside where? The hole? You really want to jump in that thing? You insane? Surely it would just fall out the bottom of this island and we'd die. Oh man, he's got those see-through mirror floors. Like you have at the top of Blackpool Tower. That tons of people shit themselves on. And like, isn't there one in the Grand Canyon as well? Anyway, before we go down the hole, I'm going to have a look around, even though there really doesn't seem to be anything. Nope, not much on that side of the roof. What about the other side? Fuck all up here as well. How do we get to those stairs? Ah, I see, I see. I don't think we'll be able to get to the stairs on the right, though. Ah! Oh, well, isn't this nice? Oh! The area is bathed in a mysterious glow. Maybe this is where we're supposed to go, then, not the hole. Truly, it is a sublime light that shines here. Perhaps this is where we must make an offering to the heaven uh, of the heavenly fruit. I mean, it's as good a place as any, I suppose, but do we really want to do this? 
Mage, my child, you must offer up the figs. I'm not sure about this. I'm really not. I'm, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Hang on a minute. All right, nothing there either. Okay. What about the right side? I'm guessing there's nothing here either. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right, let's offer up the figs. Let's do it. Mage, my child, you must offer up the figs. You've only told me like 17 million times. Mage makes an offering of the figs. Almighty One, take these divine fruits we offer unto you. We offer up the figs and still nothing. Still, our call is not heeded. What can this mean? A mysterious voice resounds through the air. Mage, Celestrian, and Guardian, and Apis, Keeper of the Observatory, cast thou hear, canst thou hear my voice? Is, is it the voice of the Almighty? Alas, I am not the one whom you Celestrians call Almighty. But nevertheless, born of pure mortal hearts, caused figs to bloom on Ligdrasil's boughs, and the Celestrian expressed to find this realm. And now, mage, you and your companions have returned the figs to the realm of the Almighty. And so I am awoken from my slumber of countless aeons. Now return unto me, my Celestrian children. Wait, did, did he say he was the Almighty or he wasn't? <laughs> I, I don't know, I might have read that wrong. Where are we going now? Oh. Oh. Back at the observatory and Yggdrasil looks, um, pretty tanned. What is this light that bathes mighty Yggdrasil? Welcome home, my Celestrian children. I knew it was a woman. I knew it. Called it. I am she who you have here. T oh, wait, no, that's that's Yggdrasil? Yggdrasil's a woman? I am the only daughter of the Almighty himself, the Grand Architect Zenus. I am the Goddess Celestria. Oh, wow. What? My, my can this be? She's pretty. My dear Celestrians, long have you ended, attended the Protectorate and offered unto me, but never less since you gathered here. There, I can't read. And your diligent efforts have finally returned me to consciousness. You have my deepest gratitude. And you, mage. You retrieved the figs which we had th uh, thought found, but which were lost once more. We are eternally in your debt. Lady Celestrian. I hope I may address you so. What can have led to your transformation into mighty Yggdrasil? I did so to protect the mortals and their realm. My father believed the mortals a flawed creation and resolved to erase them from existence. Oh, damn. Now that looks like, uh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, the mortals are not fit to inhabit my kingdom they are an aberration from dust they came and to dust I shall return them I brought you into this world I can take you out of it I beg of you stay your hand wherefore do you uh, defy me what cause have you given them sucker Father, I have faith in the mortals. You cannot, you must not lay waste to their realm. I beg of thee. 
You dare question my will? You dare obstruct my purpose? Celestria, what is this insolence? Damn. <laughs> she... She blossomed into a beautiful... tree. If it be... If it be the only way to save my mortal kind, I shall take th on this form. I shall become Yggdrasil, the will tree. My body shall be returned only when the good that lies within mortal hearts is proven. There is purity in the mortal soul. There is good. I will prove this to you, though it cost me my freedom. Impetuous child. You know not what foolishness you contemplate, Celestria. If no such proof should present itself, you will be cursed to eternal slumber. Wow. My child, what have you done? So be it. Your rashness has stayed my hand. The mortals shall live. Let there be beings to serve your purpose. Let these beings stand ever vigilant over mortal kind, awaiting proof of the purity within. But know this, Celestria, the day of your awakening shall may never come. Well, we proved him wrong, didn't we? Eh? Do, 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 do. The benevolence you gathered was the very proof of more mortal purity I had awaited. I assumed the form of Yggdrasil to persuade my father of the goodness within the mortal heart. When benevolence was offered unto me, in time the figs would bloom. And when the figs were delivered to the realm of the Almighty, I would awaken once more. Zenus created the observatory and you, my celestial children, to serve me. To watch over the mortals, to gather benevolence, to offer it unto me. To gather the figs that would one day bloom, and by their powers to awaken me from my slumber. So this has been our calling all along. But what of the Almighty himself? Yeah, what's happened to him? Could he be the ill-omened light that struck our realm? And his also... Is he, in fact... Fear not. Had my father ceased to be, I too would have passed on to another realm and this world would have ceased to exist. He is with us somewhere, though he is not to be found in the realm of the Almighty. My Celestian children, there is something I must convey to you. The light that violated the realm of the Almighty, the being from whence it came, he wished to destroy our world. He is who brought the Empire back from the forgotten reaches of time. His hatred emanates from the palace at his heart. At its heart. I guess we know what we're doing then. You must journey to the heart of the Gittish Empire and deliver mortal kind from the evil that dwells therein. I shall open the way before you. This tree of purest blue shall guide you to the lands of the House of Git. <laughs> that lies at the heart of that land is quenched, the world will be safe once more. Please, mage, you must deliver the mortal realm from evil. Why me? <laughs> why just me? And why can I have my wings back, please? Ah, uh, anyway. Such tragedy, such benevolence, that the goddess Celestria would sacrifice herself to protect mortal kind. It is well indeed that uh, we serve the Great World Tree through all the millennia. She is more than worthy. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Definitely cooler than her dad. Only you were able to save them. You must go to Gittingham Palace and extinguish the threat at its source. Okay then. So you're the only one who can save the Protectorate from the Observatory and the Observatory. <laughs> protect the <laughs> protect the Protectorate from the Observatory. Certain disaster, eh, sunshine? Well, you've only got the weight of two worlds on your shoulders then, eh? <laughs> Don't let them get you down, will you? I'll try not to. No pressure or anything. I'll be waiting on the star flight. We'll head off when you're ready to rumble. See you in a bit. Okay, then. And still, uh... Flapping flip! Well, <laughs> who would have thought we'd 
all more of a flat uh, after that. Yeah, it's a lot of exposition, wasn't it? Seems like everyone's counting on us, accounting on us, eh? Well, we can't go cooking the books in. <laughs> we'll have to get to work. Yes, yes, we will. All right, see you, old dude. Back to the star flight we go. Uh, I do hope we can still explore the rest of the world, though, because there's... I mean, I'm sure we will. Because there's a lot of stuff we need to uh, collect, still. You got one acre for flight ahead of you. Sun is showing the whole world's counting on you. You might want to think about visiting a church or something and confessing before you set off for the Gittish Empire. Yeah, good point. Do, do, do. Uh, get rid of the baddies there. The world will go back to normal again. Well, looks like you better get crackling then, eh? Can't expect me... <laughs> crackling. Can't expect me and everyone else to wait around forever to be saved. Do, 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 do. Wait, how do we... Okay. Right. I would like to go to... Ultraids Abbey, please. I want to go back to be boat. First and foremost. Because we have that weapon to pick up, which I believe is the Falcon Sword, which can then be upgraded into a pretty kick-ass weapon. So that's something I would like to try and do. Not sure if we're going to have a chance in this video, or even if we have the right materials. We probably don't. But I'm going to run back up to my boat. So we pretty much have free reign of the entire world again. Which is very good. I've missed me boat. I've missed the old SS Connery. The SS Sean Connery. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, where the fuck was the chest? Oh, down the stairs. Give me the goodies. Give me the goodies. What have we got? The Falcon Blade, yes. And a Seed of Agility. Very nice. So the Falcon Blade apparently lets you uh, attack twice, like two slashes, which is pretty cool, but apparently it's not too strong, which is why we want to really upgrade it if we can. But let's see how strong it is anyway. Okay, yeah, considerably weaker than the one we have right now, but it does let you uh, strike twice, which is pretty nice. Um... But yeah, so I'm probably not going to equip that just yet. We're going to see if we can upgrade it. Do we even have the recipe for that? Um, quickly check. Celestri is a goddess, okay? If you don't pay proper attention to what she says, you'll get a swift kick around the ear from me. All right, Stella, don't you worry. We like Celestria, we do. Uh, swords. Ah. Uber Falcon Blade, that's what we want. We need a Meteorite Bracer. Can we make a Meteorite Bracer? We can, if we had another Agility Ring and two more Lucida Shards. We can make another Agility Ring. I think I might do that. But then we still need to make the Lucida Shards. Can we make Lucida Shards easily enough? Ooh, we can make one. We need more Brighton Rocks. We need two more Brighton Rocks. Okay, so that's stuff I can work on. Maybe if I can find those off screen in between videos, we'll try and get the Uber Falcon Blade. But before, I, I think, yeah, let me know if you think that is worth making. Um, I mean, Attacking twice would be great. So I am definitely probably going to go for it, but I just don't know how much attack it's going to have. Uh, in fact, could we have checked that in the Alconomicon? Would it tell us what its attack is? Doo -doo -doo -doo. Ba -da -da -ba. 26. What was my sword got? 
62. I'd still be super weak. Uh, I don't know then. Is it worth doing, guys? Let me know. I might not go for it just yet, but let me know if you think that is worth it. Uh, unless it can be upgraded even further from that, but I don't know. I was going for um, the Fireblade. Wasn't I? Yeah, Rock Bomb Shard would be pretty nice to get. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. But um, I guess next time, I'm going to end the video now, chaps. Thank you for watching. But next time, we're going to try and uh, go around as much of the world as possible, explore places we've not been to, and try and find more of the ultimate key doors, of which there are quite a few, I'm guessing. I know we've missed some, uh, but I might look that up so that I know what to look for next time so I'm not running around like a headless chicken. Like a headless chicken. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do next time. And eventually, once I'm satisfied we're powerful enough, we will head to the, uh, to the palace, the heart of the Empire, to rescue our Celestrian brethren and destroy the evil of the world. I'm excited. I think we're getting closer to the end game now, guys. Ooh, boy. Yes. Ah, oh, very excited. So, I will see you in the next one, guys. Look after yourselves. Stay safe. Maybe spread the word of these videos with anyone who might be a Dragon Quest fan. I don't know. Uh, I would appreciate it, though. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.